He changed the theatre for all time. He had a power which no one could match. No one could even approach the degree of intensity and illumination of Edmund King. And um, the reviews of the time bear this out. And Hazlitt, one of the great critics of the time, because in those days they had very clever critics, literary critics, people of tremendous culture and insight. And Hazlitt said to watch Edmund Keane uh, doing Shakespeare is like having him revealed by strokes of lightning. And that's got kind of quite a good review to that. So Keane, in a way, symbolized the common man coming up <coughs> from the gutter, more or less, and dominating uh, the, the British stage. He actually pushed the boundaries of theatre beyond what it had been. He made the theatre and acting and the roles very, very naturalistic, very real, <coughs> deeply psychologically, um, psychological and emotional, and was a radical player. So when he came on the scene, um, why a lot of people like myself identify with him is because he came up virtually from poverty, from nothing, so to speak, working his way up, developing himself, learning as he went, and with tremendous courage put himself at the forefront of theatre. What this man did, he broke through that carapace of stiff British or English theatre and gave it a life that anybody who saw, saw him were totally galvanised. So, what a wonderful opportunity to revisit King by stamping his name on this theatre, the key.